welcome back to your 10th angular js tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be learning something called filters in angular js so filters as you expect are way lot uh, deep in concept than what we'll be learning in this tutorial but it's always necessary to have a basic knowledge of what we are working with so let me introduce you to filters in angular js and filters are nothing much but simply a way of formatting your output nicely on the screen so for that to demonstrate that let me create a simple app in angular let's say it accepts just your name uh, let's say ng model this should be binded to name and down here let's say welcome name all right so um, here's the browser let's reload this and let's say all right mail here and we are good to go so now let's say I want this to be capitalized automatically whenever I uh, type anything right here so what I can do is I'll write this thing my default one I'll write a pipe and this pipe is on my keyboard it's just above enter but located it, it's a straight line it's not I it's a pipe symbol and after typing that I'll type my filter which in this case is just uppercase now uppercase is a filter which would turn this text in uppercase so when I reload this you see that welcome is already turned into uppercase and if I want this into lowercase then I have to move this outside our expression of angular JS and now let's reload this and let's say this thing now even though I am typing everything in small you notice that it appears capitalized similarly we have some filters like lowercase let's reload this and now you can see even uppercase alphabets are appearing in lowercase then we have saw co uh, something called currency one so let's say I change it to price price here and I write currency so I'll reload this and I'll write 10 so you see that it's automatically formatted as a currency and a dollar sign is appended in front of it but we could actually modify the currency symbol as well so let's say if I want instead of dollar I want rupees so I'll just write rupees because I don't have it the symbol right now to copy and paste here well, let's reload this and now as you can see we get the output in rupees now what if I don't want the decimal to be there so what I can do is I'll just type a colon again and the places of decimals I want to show for instance I want to show zero decimal places or high decimals so I'll write zero and you see that there's no decimal appearing now if I change it to 5 say and reload then you see that there are 5 decimal places appearing now by default it fall back to 2 so if you don't specify any value it will um, show you just 2 decimal places okay so the next thing we have is I guess it's number it's pretty much like currency but it does not add or remove any signs or whatever so it would pretty much work like a regular formatted number with the same flag you can specify with the number of decimals by default and it would just format your number nicely to show the decimals as well and if I change it to 5 you see then oops then we have got a number like this so that's um, 
pretty much not the advanced level of filters in Angular, but yeah, you have successfully learned the basics of filters in Angular JS. So that's it. It wasn't hard, was it? So that's it for filters for this tutorial, and we'll be exploring filters more in Angular JS in further tutorials. And still, uh, till then, stay tuned with me. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching. I'll see you then.